Hey everybody, this is Elfin here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. So last time, we finally cleared Sen's Fortress, a fortress built specifically to keep the undead out, or at least unworthy undead. Um, so now that we are, and now we are here in the City of the Gods, in Orlando, uh, and uh, we just met the bonfire. We just met. We just met the bonfire keeper, or the fire keeper, and um, first one in the game that has spoke to us so far. Um, however, if we uh, technically, oh, here's that. Uh, here's that old foe that I was referring to. Well, maybe if I can actually hit this fucker. On the bright side, he's not hitting me either. Woo! Fuck yeah! I was actually wondering if we were going to be able to do that. Um, so, so in uh, in the first in the first uh, boss fight with the gargoyle, um, we would have if we were uh, more diligent, uh, we could have. Uh, oh fuck! If we were more diligent, we would have been able to uh, to cut off the tail of, of that gargoyle as well. But oh, we even got the gargoyle helm. Fuck yeah! So actually, let me pull out this. Just wanted to make sure that <laughs> we weren't going to get followed. Um, so let me find that. It's with the axes, right? The um, here we go. Gargoyle tail axe. Now. I don't know why. It's like as soon as you equip this thing, it instantly has poison, toxic, and and uh, and bleed on it. Um. But anyway, this uh, this axe is interesting. It's not. It's not. I don't think it's very powerful. But from a design perspective, I really like it. How it's like, how it's the um, it is like the the back spine. Of the like the tail spine of, of the gargoyle and how like whenever you you do like a, a heavy swing it'll like wrap around I just think that's so cool um actually can we talk about that display yeah uh, slice tail the gargoyle guarding the bell of awakening in the undead church or patrolling in Anor Londo can be used as a bronze battle axe bends dramatically during large attacks owing to its nature as a tail Cool. However, not as good as our white hander. So let's actually let's, let's run down here. I think um, we have our mission right now is to bring this uh, is to bring this this uh, um, staircase down so we can actually proceed further. But um, I was wondering if we would actually be able to see something because we might. Um, spoiler alert, we're probably going to get ambushed uh, when we do that. Um, there should be a, I believe there's going to be a treasure chest around here, maybe? Yes, yes, here's his treasure chest. And what we got, what we got, Demon Titanite. So, just as, uh, I don't know if we got the Demon Titanite from, uh, so, so if uh, whenever you fight one of the Titanite demons, they should drop Demon Titanite. I don't remember if the uh, demon or the Titanite demon that we faced before um, left us any uh, any Demon Titanite. Um, so, lore perspective, um, if you do, you guys remember last episode? Of course you do. So. Iron Tark, Black Iron Tarkus was the first undead to make it past Sen's fortress. And uh, when he did, he came here to enter Londo, and there was there was no way to get into this church. So he was the one who... Oh, fuck. So he was the one who uh, broke the window. For fuck's sake! Eat, eat a dick. So he's the, uh, he's the first one to break that window and actually set a path forwards for us. So even now, he's still, 
Like, he's still actually helping us, even now. Um, unfortunately, he met a, he met a very um, undeserving end. So, um, we'll, we'll see that later on. Um, but, anyway, we're going to have to, we're going to have to be careful, because these assholes up here, these painting guardians, uh, painting, paint, painting guards, um, they like to throw knives, as you guys saw earlier. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. <laughs> Just swat them like flies. Um, however, we gotta be pretty careful because from this height, I don't care how much health you got, we're definitely not surviving that. But I'm pretty sure that with that um, crashing that chandelier to the floor, that I believe that actually took out a bunch of uh, that should have taken out a bunch of. Um, uh, um, painting guards. Or, if we go down there, um, it'll be... Come on. There we go. Uh, or if we go down there, um, it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's gonna be difficult for them to just, like, just lock on regularly. Ow. Bitch! Fuck you! Hell yeah. Wow. I need to do a parry more often. Because that was really fucking awesome. Um, so that um, well-endowed woman right there is actually Gwyn's daughter by the name Gwynevere. And she is the goddess of uh, fertility, as you could probably imagine. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, let's head down there. Ow. If we're smart about it, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to take them. Let's just take a swig of uh, Sunny D first. Huh. So, what do we gain from this? So, what what we gain? What? What the fuck? I thought there was like a stairway all the way down. Huh. Actually, you know what? I should have gone through the fog wall. Should have gone through the fog wall. Or traverse the white light. It's fucking fog. Um, right. So, we will actually have to fight, um, before we gain control. Well, actually, we, we have control now. So, we can actually hit this right now. But as we're turning the mess, is there... I don't know if he spawns yet. I think he'll, I think this enemy will spawn as soon as we, we hook it up to to uh yeah i think he'll spawn now yep there he is so it's another it's another gargoyle basically oh fuck. oh shit i'm out of stamina gotta roll out oh i've actually never seen him do that before ow where, like, well, I've definitely seen him do. Oh, shit. We gotta watch out for that fucking tail whip. Gotta, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Huh. I don't know why he didn't pursue us. I'm fairly certain he could come out onto the. Come on to the, uh, the battlement there. Or the bridge. Ow. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, bro. Um, oh, Gargoyle's Halberd and Gargoyle's Shield. Gargoyle's Halberd? I'm actually unfamiliar with that one. Um, 
Let's take a look at, let's find that. Gargoyle's Halberd. And of course, same bullshit <laughs> happens. Um, Halberd of the Gargoyle guarding the Bell of Awakening in the Undead Church. Perfectly st standard bronze Halberd without any special power. Well, obviously, I think that's false because as soon as we touch the thing, it's causing poison, toxic, and bleed. Like, I feel like... I feel like if it didn't have any special power, that wouldn't be happening. But, eh. What do I know? Um, and actually, since this whole since this whole thing is descending, um, that's primarily why we got hurt. Um, from from taking that what would normally be a, a small fall. Oh, this is actually um, a Gwyn's tomb. Um, we can light, the, light this bonfire. But um, here we are. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. That's an interesting one. Let's find out what that does. We're not going to wear it, but it's interesting enough. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. It boosts miracles. Lord Gwen's firstborn was a god of war, but his foolishness led to the loss of the annals and rescinding of his deific status. Today, even his name is not known. Um, his firstborn, who inherited the sunlight, once wore this ancient ring, boosts the strength of miracles. So, and that makes sense. Um, so why, here's the thing. Remember that crumbled statue that's like underneath the uh, the Hellfire Drake? Um, what is it? An undead burr? No, undead settlement. Anyway, um, so uh, basically, that that crumbled statue where you have all these all these hollows that don't attack you. Um, that is that's actually a stat. So Gwen's firstborn is the uh, so the sunlight covenant. So basically, to, to become a Sunlight Bro, um, just like Solaire, um, the... Hmm. Um, the, uh, I don't know what you call the person who, uh, the Covenant Manager? Guardian? I don't know what the hell you call him. Um, but essentially, the, the character that you enter the Covenant for or with um or you create the covenant with i should say um that is actually gwyn's firstborn that you're oh painting guardian sword huh i've never gotten that before um so yes yeah, so you actually um that's the covenant that that sunlight covenant is with uh is is with gwyn's firstborn himself um and uh, actually, we will never, we won't see, uh, Gwen's Firstborn does not show up in this, in this game. But he will, however, show up in the, in, uh, not the next game, but the game after um, Dark Souls 3. Oh, hello, where the fuck did you come from? Ow. Why am I, why am I one-handing this? Shit. Whoa. Get the fuck out. Whoa. Spinning like a motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah! Sit down, son. And I love it how we just now ran out of Estus. Uh, thankfully, we cleared out all these painting guardians. Uh, and we'll actually be back here... Um, and not well not necessarily soon but um actually this is very important why i came here here lies the body of our good friend black iron tarkas um unfortunately his his armor and it was too bulky and he was too he was too unwieldy his his large weapon 
So, um, uh, he unfortunately had lost his balance as he was coming across the, uh, coming across the rafters and he fell down here to his death. So thanks, Black Iron Darkus. Um, actually this contraption does not move. That's an interesting, <laughs> that's an interesting response, especially since that's a painting. Um, so there is a special uh, item that we have to pick up back at the um, the Undead Asylum. And uh, that will give us access to the painting. Now, what do you mean? What am I talking about? Um, so with a particular item, we will actually be able to step into the painting a la um, Super Mario 64 and uh, we'll be able to um, uh, we'll be huh that's interesting now the TV renders that um, but no when we go into the, the the painting oh there we go it's the it's the um, the world of Ariamas or the the painting of Ariamas anyway um Side note, just from a design perspective, I like it how you have one set of steps for giants and then another set of steps for people. I just, just, side note. Ow. Oh, well, fuck it. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I don't want to fight them. But now these, these, uh, imps? I don't know what the fuck to call them. But these guys that brought us here, now they're they're the enemy now. And sometimes you can actually get them to uh, to actually jump back back jump off of the uh, off the level. Oh shit! What am I doing? What am I doing? Fuck this guy! What am I doing? I have no Estus. Well, why did I not sit down at the bonfire? Well, why am I here? <laughs> Ah! I completely... I didn't even think. Uh, you know what? Just to make this easier on us... Did I not... I don't think I did. Oh, they... God damn it! They're coming! They're coming for me! Um, if I'm quick about it... Oh, nope, nope. Not quick at all. Not quick. Not quick enough. Okay. They're not coming after me anymore. Um, let's just run down here to... Actually, no, he's coming for me. Yep. Oh, I dodged! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Huh? Dark Moon Seance Ring. That's actually a very important item. Um, and, uh... Oh, okay. Just by teleporting here, you, you got, uh... Actually, we can we have enough to level up. Um, attunement? No, that won't give us another slot. Um, faith? Hmm. Hmm. Considering things. Um, yeah, let's just go for strength. Can't hurt on strength. Um, especially not since like our our blade scales with. Um, strength and dex? Strength and dexterity? Um, actually, I'm going to come over here to either side. Um, over here. And because I believe... On this side you have a chest, and I believe on the other side you also have a chest. So let's see if I can kite one of these guys over and go try to try to attempt to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Um... I think the other guy's coming. No? Okay. I th I could have sworn this guy was coming for me. So let's just try to try to dodge around him like we did with the other guy. Bam. Alright, come on. I see that you don't like that. Oh shit. I guess their shield 
uh, dodges or uh, their shields able to block everything. I don't think this guy took any health damage from from our from our attack. But um, oh, another Demon Titanite. Cool. Um, actually, this is interesting. The the statue because this here is uh, the Leonite. Um, oh shit. Um, fuck. Ornstein. Ornstein. Oh, Ornstein or Ornstein, whichever you want to call him. Um, he is the Leonite. And uh, since uh, there were... He's one of he's one of Gwyn's four faithful knights. Um, like his own personal guard. Um, and, uh, um, uh, Artorius, yeah, Artorius, I believe, was the, was the original leader of the bunch. Um, unfortunately, we don't know him well. We didn't know him well. Um, uh, but he might be back to kick some tail. Who knows? Um, anyway... So, uh, the Leo Knight, we will be actually seeing him here, uh, soon. And this is, um, his companion, Smo, or Smoth. It de depend again, depends on how you pronounce it. Um, though I kind of, uh, I kind of lean more towards Smo. Um, oh, here's a very important thing, important thing to note. You see that chain on the on this uh, on this box? It's curled up. You see this chain on this box? It is unraveled. That means something very important. It means that this box, also the fact that this box is breathing, is a fake. It's a fake. So uh, you gotta worry. Now we're to the point where we gotta worry about mimics. And uh, mimics, if you're not if you're not careful, can be very powerful because they will kick the fucking shit out of you. Like they will sure you can the fucking shit out of you. Uh, so uh, we gotta we gotta watch out for them later on. And uh, actually, there's a way. Um, I swear. Let me see if it's there's an item that you can use. Prevents Estes now. Tracks. I swear, there's a type of an item that you can use that, to put um, to put enemies to sleep, or you can put the um, you can put the the the, um, the mimics to sleep, and then when they when they start, effectively they'll start snoring, and like the top of the box will open up, and you can just reach in and grab their item without ever having to defeat them. Um, and then you can defeat them again and they might drop, uh, one of the two, one of the two drops as from the, from a mimic as like an actual enemy, um, which I believe is a serpent ring or a, um, like a, a helmet of avarice or something like that. But anyway, I digress. So thank you guys for watching. Next time we will actually head into the real, like, cathedral of uh of anorlando and uh so anyway that's the plan and uh thank you guys for watching